Hey guys, welcome back to Small Screen Shakedown. Shark Tank is an American business reality series that premiered on ABC in 2009. It's a show that gives entrepreneurs a platform to bring up their business ideas and models to convince a panel of investors to pitch in their proposals and help them grow their business. Let's take a look at the Shark Tank's favorite pitches. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss out on anything. Also, if you're a fan of the show, then let us know by liking the video. So, let's begin. Number 7, Squatty Potty. Anyone could easily guess what the product was about, which was brought in front of the sharks by the heading only. Yes, the mother and son duo, Bobby and Judy, came up with their idea of a toilet which makes pooping easier for people and wanted the sharks to invest in this. Number two, although the panel found the item to be a little vague, the product had made sales, which was quite surprising for Barbara, who's one of the sharks and found the idea stupid. But the product did get a lot of support from the people, which led to the sharks pitching in too. Number six, Bruffometer. In the second episode of season five, Charles came to the Sharks with his idea of a breathometer, which was a smartphone-styled breathalyzer, was handy and could be carried everywhere. According to the investors, the idea was great and was worth investing, but the enactment of the product was worse. As saying by one of the Sharks, Barba claimed the investment as a nonsense idea, and the other five Sharks seemed pretty interested, and thought that the proposal was great, and that pitching in money would be an amazing decision. Number 5, I Want to Draw a Cat for You Steve Gadlin came over to the show with an idea that at first was thought of as a joke, but his company of Steve's drew cats for people according to their liking and specifications. Although the sharks found the guy brainless, but loved him too. He convinced Mark Cuban to invest $25,000, who was later asked by the customer to draw a cat for them, and were ready to pay a good amount even after the company wasn't quite doing the business. News is that the business is back on the run, though. It can be said that sharks were quite fond of him. Number 4, Haven. The CEOs of the Haven Lock, Alex and Clay, became a reason for the shark's laughter when they came onto the show with their idea of putting in adjustable locks to the doors, which could be locked and unlocked through your smartphone. The idea of these locks helping with break-ins made them demonstrate, but that only became a source of entertainment for the investors, since the demo didn't go as predicted. The constant struggle of Alex to kick the ordinary door open in five kicks had sharks rolling in laughter, but still was able to persuade two of them and immediately made it onto their favorite list. Number three, frocks. Edwin Heaven brought up his solution to the missing socks in the laundry. Frocks was that solution, which is a pair of socks that comes with an extra one. The and Heaven wanted the Sharks to pitch on it, but his idea was immediately put down when the panels heard the sales. None of the investors wanted to invest in Edwin's plan, and said that they find it ordinary, and that the other companies will ruin his business once they get to know this idea of his. Although, that day, Edwin went home with zero investors, but he still made it to their favorites. Number 2. Scan. Garnet Gee, the founder of the Scan, came over to the show seeking $1 million from the investors. The founder marketed his product the best he could, but the panel didn't seem interested in his plan, although they felt he had a good concept and didn't pitch it in, since they felt that his company will soon be sold and they only wanted to invest in a business that will grow. They were right, since although Garrett didn't get any investors that day, his company was bought by Snapchat later. Number 1, Readerist. Rick's solution to granny chains and for the problem of dropping glasses everywhere was Readerist. 
for which he was seeking $150,000 from the investors. The trip he made in the starting may have been lucky for him, since after a lot of discussion and arguments, only Lori pitched in, but under some conditions. The piece of metal did make sales after all. Although not all of the pitches were successful, but still helped businesses in some way, click on the links to find out about such entrepreneurs. Well, this brings us to the end of our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and stick around for more amazing content, as we will see you soon in another video. Until then, take care and goodbye!